Hey guys, it's me, Miss Gratification, with video number three this week, as I promised. So I wanted to do this video a little bit about motivation, um, kind of like what you're doing to stay motivated, um, you know, what, what we accept in our life. Um, but first of all, today is my three-month cosmetic surgery post-op. Hey, three months already, this flew by. Um, so it's my three month post-op anniversary today after having cosmetic surgery. For those of you that are just tuning in to Miss Gratification's channel, um, I was started at 270 pounds about uh, back in May 2010, May 10, 2010. Um, I actually had co uh, weight loss surgery. Um, and now, almost three years out, I had cosmetic surgery about three months ago today. Um, I did have a breast lift with breast augmentation. Um, I did get 500 cc's in each breast. Um, I also had lipo done all in my back, my sides. I had the excess skin taken out under my armpit that kind of flats over your bra strap taken out. I also had a tummy tuck done. Um, and it's been three months today. My swelling has gone down tremendously. I am, I had to kind of get, I'm working on getting a whole new wardrobe because there's a lot of things that would fit me before that don't fit me now or fit me comfortably, you know, then that are way too big now. Um, so that's kind of what I'm working on right now, little by little as I need stuff. Um, but I'm gonna do a body shot kind of where I'm at today being three months out my incisions have really healed really well um, You know in certain areas my incisions are healing a little faster. I don't know why but um, they kind of look like stretch marks They don't look like a scar. So the way dr. Um, Sue, you know did my incisions. I'm healing really really well So I'm excited for that because that was one of my concerns, you know, my god, how am I gonna help? How am I going to, you know, heal after having cosmetic surgery? One thing that's also helped me a lot, which I'm doing is I am a lot of you guys know that I'm a distributor for it works, uh, the ultimate body applicator, the body wraps. I do. I have been wrapping my stomach um, and I have been using the defining gel every day on my scar. So I'm assuming that that's helped me a lot as well, being that they did so well with me prior to having weight loss or prior to having cosmetic surgery because it, you know, helped me um, clear up my stretch marks a lot. Um, it just really helped me give that elasticity back into my skin. So I am still using that product. I know I read a couple emails um, last night on YouTube of you guys asking me, am I still using the product? Yes, faithfully. Um, since the day I started with It Works, uh, it's gonna be two years and something, I think. Um, I don't use regular body lotion at all on my body, from my neck all the way down to my feet. I use the defining gel faithfully every single day. Um, the only reason why I use regular body lotion is if I want to smell pretty or something like that, but I use a defining gel every single day all over my body, from neck all the way down to my feet. So that I'm still using. So before I get into my little motivational spill, um, I'm going to show you guys a body shot. Sorry, because I just worked out. But this is me, which, hello, I couldn't wear stuff like this before. Um, this is my breasts. <laughs> and this is me. This is me after having weight loss surgery. So, hope you guys got a full view. Um, but I'm healing really, really well. You know, I like it. Like, especially when I work out now or even around the house or whatever, I'm going to go to the store. I wear things that I, like, I'll show my midriff. You know, I never did that. Or I'll wear, um, or I'll wear like, you know, um, low-rise shorts or low-rise jeans. You know, I'll wear stuff that I, that I would never wear before. So, um, I've also worn, like, a lot of tube top stuff. Um which again, I never did before because I couldn't wear anything that was tube top or, you know, my girls would just be completely flat. Um, so that's been a quite a change for me. So one thing that I definitely wanted to talk about was motivation, you know. Um, I know there's a lot of people on Facebook, there's a lot of people on YouTube that really inspire you guys, that you guys may follow, um, you know, that you guys follow on a daily basis, weekly basis, you guys follow their YouTube channels, you guys follow them on Facebook, and they're people that really motivate you or, or that, you know, they're people that really inspire you. But that only goes so far. If you follow these people and they inspire you, they motivate you. But at the end of the day, what are you doing with that? It's kind of like, it's kind of like working out without eating. You're defeating the purpose. Okay. So 
I guess the words that I want to pass on to you guys is one thing I have learned coming up to my three years um, in this transition, in this journey, is that, you know what, I looked at myself prior to me making a life change till now, and there's a lot of things that I settled for. There was a lot of things that I just put up with because I thought that's the best I could do. Or, you know, there was a lot of things that I just settled for because at that moment it was just easier not to do anything or it was easier to put up an excuse or it was easier to say, oh, well, I'm a full time working mom and, you know, I can't do this or I can't give time to myself. So I think, you know, it's important that it's not a matter of what life throws you. It's not a matter of the situation you're in. I ultimately believe that it's the attitude you have, no matter what circumstances you are in. The attitude you have, the outlook, the determination. There's a young gal um, that just recently got into my weight loss surgery group. Um, I won't say her name, but she's only 17 years old, okay? 17 years old. And this little girl, I mean, she hasn't had weight loss surgery yet. And she started at 400 pounds. Um, She's already lost in such a short amount of time. She's already lost 40 pounds on her own. You know, knowing that she didn't have support to have weight loss surgery. So she was she's determined to lose weight. And I look at her and I'm like, wow, you know, here's a 17 year old girl really fighting for her life, fighting for what she wants. And I see some of these adults, you know, that give up so easy or, you know, don't want to go the extra mile or because certain things aren't accessible to you in that moment or, you know, things aren't easy. You want to just settle or, you know, not push. And I see this young girl, 17 years old, fighting for what she wants, fighting to be able, you know, to just really live out her dream. And it really made me think this morning, like, like I told her, I'll never get tired of telling you I'm so proud of you. Because, yes, even though, you know, we all have our everyday issues that we deal with, we all have our everyday struggles. But this is a perfect example of somebody that you know what? She was limited to what she had around her. She was limited to the support, but she had two choices in life. Either settle and deal with it and just be unhappy or just keep fighting till someone, you know, heard her or keep fighting till she proved to herself more than anything that she could do this. So I just want to put out there that in our life, we live the life we live and we accept what we accept everything is a choice if you're sitting there unhappy because of what you look like if you're sitting there you know unhappy because you're in an unhealthy relationship you have to realize that when you make the decision to change not everybody's going to change with you yes you might lose a relationship you might grow out of a friendship you might grow out of a job because now you see, you know what? I'm not going to settle for this mediocre job. Like I could do better. I could be a supervisor. I could have my own business. Why not? What do you have to lose? I wasted 10 years of my life. I wasted 10 years of my life being at 270 pounds, which gradually I wasn't 270 those 10 years. I gradually worked my myself up there and I settled. I settled for so many things. Yes, I'm on Facebook every goddamn day, okay, doing what works for me. And I love the fact that I can put something on Facebook and it spreads like wildfire, like wildfire, you know. I can motivate the next person. Why? Because I promised my first video, if you go back, my specific words were, I am going to do YouTube videos and I will put myself out there. I am a total open book. There is nothing you can't ask me that Greta won't be honest with you. Why? Because I said if I can help just one person and motivate that person and show people that there is hope out there. Why? I lost that hope for 10 years. I thought there's no way I'm going to be able to lose weight. You know, I'm going to have to live through my friends. I'm going to have to live through my daughter, dress her cute, do, you know, do. I would go shopping with my girlfriends and sit there and be like their little, I would do their hair. I would do their makeup. I would get them dressed. Why? Because I felt I couldn't, you know, I had to get by with just doing my hair and makeup and being just that pretty face. And you know what? I realized today that no matter what I've gone through, no matter what I've lost, no matter what friendships, relationships I've grown out of, 
it's all about if making myself happy. And if Greta is not happy, if you are not happy, best believe, I don't care if it's your kids, your partner, your friend, you will not make anybody happy around you. So if you're in the situation where you're dealing with stuff, you know, that that I watched um, Trent Shelt- uh, Shelton, which I watch him faithfully every day, all his posts and everything, because he's so motivational. Um, and I watched a video of him this morning that he said, stop playing replay on the things that you need to delete out of your life. And you know what? He's right. So many people get consumed with what he said. She said, you know what? Um, this person did this to me. You know what? I'm doing this and I'm not happy. If you're not happy in a situation, remove yourself from it or just change the attitude that you have towards it. You know what? People will try to make you, will try to break you, will try to judge you. And I posted the status this morning that there's so you will never please people. I don't care if you're if you're doing good. I don't care if you're doing bad. You could be doing the best thing, you know, in the community, whatever it is. People will always have an opinion about you and people will always assume and base that opinion based on what they think they see. So at the end of the day, as long as you are happy and as long as you are striving to be a better person than you were yesterday, stop giving a flying rat ass about pleasing anybody. Because at the end of the day, you will you will live and die trying to please those people because it will never happen. So I I just wanted to do this video kind of just passing on to, you know, my little stuff that inspired me this morning. It was raining today and you know what? I, w- I had two choices. I could have stayed at home and been like, oh, it was raining. Screw that. My ass went. I did my miles. I took my four-year-old son on a bike with me. You know, that's another thing. Motivate the people around you to be on the same page as you. My son is four years old and you know what? Even though he's tired, I make it fun for him. I race him every block or, you know, I... I make it as something that me and him are sharing together. I make it fun for him. So there's so many ways on how you can involve your family. But at the end of the day, people will do what you allow them to do and people will respond to you on what you put out. Remember, whatever you put out in life is what you get. So don't be mad because certain people act towards you a certain way. You have to step back and and analyze what are you putting out to the world. So don't be mad at the at the results that you're not getting for the work that you're not putting in so i just wanted to put that out there you guys this i promised i was going to do video number three so this is it um i just wanted to give you guys a quick update on um my cosmetic surgery uh four more days i am gonna be another month out i'm two months away from being three years i'm still doing my thing i'm still consistent i'm still in there i'm i'm still with my head in the game every single day and you know what when you're happy and when you have when you're in that good place you don't have to be it it's something that's obvious to everybody so work towards that work to you know forget what the next person is doing or what person you're competing against or what person you have to like stay you know stop trying to keep up with the joneses keep up with yourself change yourself and everything else will fall into place all right thanks guys